This is Pastor Angela Swan welcoming you to the Love and Power broadcast sponsored by the Mission of Love Church at www.missionoflovechurch.org. It is my prayer that this message equips, inspires, and empowers you to new levels of success in your walk with God. The Love and Power broadcast is the outreach ministry of Mission of Love Church. To learn more, visit our website at missionoflovechurch.org. Yeah, I feel the fire of the anointing, yes. and I feel fresh oil. Men have been given the charge to uncover and to teach about the spirit of deception and manipulation. If you have your Bibles, I'm going to ask that you turn to the book of Judges, the 16th chapter. And I don't know about you, but the story of Samson is a well-known story. We learned in Sunday school, but there are some valuable nuggets in this for all of us in our walk in and with God. There are two things we have, a walk in God and a walk with God. Amen? A walk with God is personal. Our relationship with Him. We walk with Him and talk with Him daily. We should be. We should have an intimate relationship with Him every day. When we're talking to Him, He's talking with us. He's leading and guiding us into all truth. And we should be walking towards our destiny that's in God. Right. Amen. That's walking with God. But walking in God, that's a difference. Walking in God causes us to be a light in a dark place. Yes. Pull someone out mm. of the hands of the enemy. Amen. When we walk yeah. in God, when we step into the atmosphere, see, I don't play with the word. Oh, my God. Oh, who don't know me? I'm Pastor Angela Swan. Come on, Amen. Sir. The apostle that breaks and tears down the foundation. So now we walk, we walk in God. Yeah. We go into the place. Wherever we are, we should take God with us. That's right. Yeah. We should affect the very atmosphere yeah. in which we come. So this is going to help you walk better in God and with God. Amen. Amen. Now the story of Samson is a story of a man that was set apart to do God's will and to help lead God's people. There's many men and women of God in this room that we have a call a consecration, a sanctification on our lives, but we are missing the mark. Jesus. I'm going to say it again. We have a call, we have a consecration, and we have a sanctification on our lives. There are three different areas. Our call is what God has called us to do to advance his kingdom. Our consecration is what he do, he set us apart to do. He pours some special things in us, a that it should come through us come to affect people. All right. uh, that's the anointing that's on your life. The special endowment that God put upon you, anoint you with to tear down the strongholds of the enemy. Yes. Yes. Then we have the sanctification. See, you got to be sanctified to do this thing. I know you got to be sanctified. Southern Georgia. I built a church down there. And guess what? It ain't no change down there either. So we got a lot of church. We got a lot of believers, so they say. Yes. We don't have a lot of power and manifestation in the earth realm. So you can say you know Jesus, but I know you by your fruit. You can say you love Jesus, but I know you by how you treat him. Amen? Amen. Now, we're going to look a little bit at Samson. We're going to read verses 4 through 6 and then uh, 19 and 20. And in your time, I'm sure we have some Bible scholars in here. You know the story inside and out. If I can put a title to this message, it will be entitled Sleeping with the Enemy. Uncovering Deception and Manipulation. Turn to your neighbor and say, I left with the enemy. Right. Whoa. 
Yeah. All right, let's get to the description. Yes. Yeah. 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 Judges 16, verse 4 said, And it came to pass afterward, and they say after Sansom did some exploits, that he loved a woman in the valley of Sorek, whose name was Delilah. And the lords of the Philistines came up unto her, and said unto her, Entice him, and see wherein his great strength lieth, and by what means we may prevail against him, that we may bind him to afflict him, and we will give thee, every one of us, 1,100 pieces of silver. Amen? Amen. Go to 19. And she made him sleep upon her knees. And she called for a man, and she caused him to shave off the seven locks of his head, and she began to inflict him, and his strength went from him. And she said, The Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And he awoke out of his sleep. And said, I will go out as at other times before and shake myself. And he was not that the Lord was departed from him. What a sad tale. What a sad story. Here we have this set apart, consecrated Nazarite that did not have a razor put upon his hand. Uh, he came out of a he out of a promise, my God. And God told his mother and father, "Don't cut his hand. I set them apart from the womb." Uh, but he had an issue and he had a problem. He liked to love strange people. Yeah. Uh, he went after the strange flesh. Yeah. Come on, man. business, and I'm going to get up in yours. What door you got open? That the enemy is creeping through late at night. That's what somebody up in here. Yeah. What attachment do you have that's unholy? They can say, Lord, Lord, all they want to. They could be up in the pulpit. They could be in the, on the deacon board. They could be on the mother board. The missionaries. They wake up. We know they're all full of in the choir. Uh, they are musicians. Uh, they, they say, Lord, Lord, they got big Bibles on their table, big crosses around their neck, speaking, speaking in tongues and doing a holy dance. But they have two spirits up inside of them that are ruling, functioning, and operating that wants to get connected to you to destroy your life. The two spirits I'm going to talk about today is the spirit of deception. That spirit is designed to take away your vision. It's designed to color your perception. That spirit of deception is the first spirit that Satan sends in to get you off of track. It is a snare. Uh, it is, see, there's a difference between a snare, different kind of traps they set. I got a lot to teach you. I don't have time. But it's a snare that Satan sends. A snare is a small trap yeah. that hooks you up, but gets you hooked when you can't go nowhere. Uh, they use it for rabbits and small kind of animals like that. It's a small hook that does a big thing. Yes, it does. Mm. Yes, it does. Yes. And so deception, deception gets a hook in you to get your vision, to change your vision for what God showed you to do, to color your vision, because deception is married to manipulation, but you don't know. Deception is married to manipulation, but you just don't know it. And so now, deception, what it does, is causes you and I to have the wrong perception 
perception of that people, place, or thing. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen. So that's why when people they you know lay the drugs on the table, you think you want to have a good time. They put pour a little liquor, uh, you know. Some I, I'm I'm telling what I see. Pour the liquor and they say, oh come on, take a drink with me. It's trying to get a hookup and change your perspective, yes, yes. mess up your vision, yes. Yes. to kill your destiny. Yes. Right. Yes. Amen. Deception. What deception does to <laughs> deceive means to be misled by a false appearance or statement. It is deliberate. Tell your neighbor, it's deliberate. It's, deliberate. <laughs> it's misrepresentation and it lies uh, because it tells you one thing, but it really ain't that thing at all. Uh, what you see is not really what you get. It paints a picture for you. Uh, because, see, the devil studies us like our sister said. The devil knows all about you down sitting up rising. God is the only one that study you and know about you down sitting up rising. The devil knows what's in your blood. Are. The devil knows your issues. The devil studied your grandmother, your auntie. The devil knows what thing is up in your flow and in your natural bloodline. And so he sends people, agents, who move in these spirits to, to mess you up. And so these agents come and they look and they already got what you think you need. They paint the picture like they got. I live this thing. I know what I'm talking about. And you relax, because I said sleeping with the enemy. You start resting on them. You say, oh, this person loves me. <laughs> the Bible says Samson loved a woman named Delilah. It didn't say that the woman Delilah loved Samson. because they were the spiritual leaders and physical leaders. Yeah. Now, the word is interesting that they say lords. Uh -huh. But that right. means that's a right. spiritual thing as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah. They were Satan's enemy. Right. So they told her to entice him. To entice means to lead on mm -hmm. by exciting hope. Yes. Yes. Desire or allure. Yeah. It's an illusion like they do the magic tricks. It's that's right. It's satanic. Yeah. 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 It's from the pit of hell. Yeah. 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 And yeah. so, so it's an illusion. So you know how the magicians they do they have the smoke and mirrors yeah. and y'all bust the smoke yeah. and, and mirrors. Yeah. Yeah. And lying, my sister, yeah. he lying. Yeah. Yeah. He don't love you. Yeah. 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 And so now the Lala and Ty Samson, and you know the story. Uh, he she asked and she cried because she went from 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 deception and then after at one point it goes from your deception is your eyes your vision uh, then but it's married to manipulation I told you so right. then the next thing is it goes from your eyes to into your mind because the mind and the heart got to agree along with your mouth yes. 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 so the devil gets a hook in your vision yes. your perception he messes that up to get to your mind and anybody who's been manipulated know that person start with your mind tell you what you want of your emotions and your worship place. Yes. Yes. That demon want to get right up in there. Yes. Yes. It's really after the heart, but it got to go through your vision, your yes. perception, yes. then get to your mind yes. first, those yes. are the steps, yes. and then it gets to get in your heart so that you can turn your heart to them, idolize them, be scared of them, be embodied to them, and not be in God. Amen. So it's an illusion. Manipulation is to influence or control an individual or a group of people. We got a lot of manipulative pastors, bishops, and people. A lot. Oh, I can see them a mile away. And I said, the blood of Jesus. They said, Pastor, you can know he ain't right. He ain't right. 
No. So bust out wide open. But anyway, it's to influence or control an individual or group of people for their own advantage. Say their own advantage. It is done through skillful, clever means. Oh God. They don't play fair. They don't. It is a trap used to get your mind and your heart into their means and hands so it can kill off your destiny. Because the devil is scared of you and me. The devil is our enemy, but he is scared of you and me. He knows that God has a great call on you. He knew that Samson was consecrated. Everywhere Samson went, he tore up the place. So they had to set a trap for Samson because he was just too powerful for his enemy. And the same thing for you and me. The enemy is going, uh, and, and they go dig it in the gallery because it's really witchcraft. And I ain't got to have a about that. But the enemy get all together and they have a meeting in hell just about you. And so that, that girl, she danced too strong. Uh, she, she, break, and she break the atmosphere when she came. Uh, so so we, we, got, we got to get somebody. Let's see who we can get in. Oh, we got to get her cousin. Ah, he, can we get that cousin that, that she like to talk to and complain to and cry to? Leave alone. We got to get into our cousin and we, we're going to get the cousin. We're going to get the cousin to deceive her, manipulate her, to tell her this, to give her raw information and, 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 and discourage her so she will not be able to break through the atmosphere when she dance. I like that anointing. Mm, I can build the church for her maybe some money. Ah, oh my, I, all I do is it happens to me, y'all. I put her for her. Jesus. She can build the church yeah. from the ground up. Yeah. And, 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 and you know what? Put her, as soon as it gets filled, I'm going to fight her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put her aside. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> and, and, and then, then I'm going to use her up because one day they want to deceive and manipulate you to manipulate you for your own. They like what you got. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because the devil's ultimate plan for every 
person born, mm -hmm. the world already going to hell. They they going to hell. Yes. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But especially those that call on the name of Christ, yes. Yes. He wants to kill us. Yeah. Yes. 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 And so if you do not get away from the deceiver yes. or the manipulator, and they'll marry that because they deceive and they're going to manipulate. Yeah. Manipulator, they're going to they have deceived first. That's right. That's right. If you don't get away. It will kill your spirit My God. if you let it. So I came to reveal the plans of the enemy, to uncover his tricks, and I want you to heed this word. Don't let the devil do it. God bless right. you. Do you need prayer or spiritual help? You can call Mission of Love 24 hours a day at our prayer hotline. 1-877-268-PRAY That's 1-877-268-7729 Prayer counselors are waiting to assist you or you can visit our website at www.missionoflovechurch.org God loves you and he wants to answer your prayers today. My friend, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that Jesus rose from the dead, then you shall be saved. If you believe that today, repeat this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I confess that I am a sinner and I believe that you died for me. Please come into my heart. I accept you as my Lord and Savior today. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. If you pray that prayer, we'd like to hear from you. We have a special gift that we would like to give you to help you get closer to God. If this message has been a blessing to you, email me at pastor at missionoflovechurch.org. This is Pastor Angela Swan, and I'm excited to introduce my new book, The Ultimate Christian Wholesale Source Directory, available now on Amazon.com. This directory gives you the inside secrets to buying Christian products at wholesale rock bottom prices. To find out more, go to www.christianwholesaleusa.com.